the end, only time went by without me learning anything about the Soul Reaper named Eleonora. But well, it's approaching midnight, so she's gonna come kill you. <laughs> After school, I tried to find that pansy Soul Reaper caught Hugh Berion, who I met before to see whether there was anything he could tell me, but he's nowhere to be found. Well, should have been obvious then he will, that he won't just conveniently show up when I want him to. Maybe he's scared of uh, Ele Eleonora too, no? I heave a sigh and look at the clock in my room. Ultimately, the declared deadline had drawn near without me being able to do anything at all. Uh oh. Uh, what's the matter? While I'm secretly losing my composure, Tina talks to me, somewhat tilting her head with a spell of puzzlement. Um, I'm too worried to sleep with you. Let me. I don't think I ever said I wanted you to. That Kotaro, oh, why, is he, why is he scared of her? So? Um, <laughs> I'm not lonely though. I think the one who actually feels lonely is you, yeah? <laughs> if you don't want to sleep alone, you can go in, or go sleep in Aoi-san's. No, stay here tonight after all. Yeah, because you need to protect Tina, you know? But I, I have no power, how am I going to protect her though? Um, well, sure. Yeah, at least for tonight. Later on, that Eleonora might appear. Actually, I guess it's a given that she she will appear. Considering that, I should at least avoid involving Aoi-san and Konami in this. Though, ideally, I don't want to let her come in contact with Tina as well. Yeah, that's the best case scenario. Well, well, I hope so. Tina pulls at my sleeve so as to hurry me. I should clear things in, up in secret after all. I don't want to pointlessly worry her if I can help it. Oh, so you're going to tell her about Eleonora? Before that, I'll step out for a bit. You're asking to, for death, no? <laughs> Yuma? Yeah, there's something I need to buy at the convenience store. Well, I wouldn't... That wouldn't be wise. You've already changed into your pajamas. It's nothing important on anything anyway. Just, so just go to sleep. I'll join you in a bit. I put on my jacket, stuff my wallet into my pocket, and get ready to leave. Hey, Tina. Hmm. Don't leave this room, okay? Just don't. Doesn't matter. Just do what I say. Get into my bed and lace around as you always do. <laughs> Having said that to Tina, who reacted somewhat confusedly, I left my room. Okay, so we're gonna meet the Eleonora again. Yeah, she's gonna show up again. Wonder if. Hmm, I wonder if. Ann is going to show up. Probably not though, because I think Ann is Eleonora. I mean, not not saying that Ann is Eleonora. Like I said before, at night, Eleonora takes over Ann's body. So, yeah. I swing by the storeroom and take out a golf club that used to be my dad's. What? Wait, seriously? You're going to use a golf club as a weapon? <laughs> is that even going to work? It might actually help if it was just some hulam, but chances are, it won't help against the Soul Reaper Sky. Skiff, uh, Skyf, Skyf. Still better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> Having positioned myself just in front of the house in the same spot as yesterday, I wait for her to appear with this unreliable weapon in hand. It's almost midnight now. The deadline Eleonora imposed on me. What the heck am I doing? Well, just being the hero at, at all high, high and mighty. I know. <laughs> I quietly mutter that, but tell myself that I nevertheless can't just obediently do as she says and tighten my grip on the golf club. Then, probably having watched me from somewhere. Hmm. 
Hey sexy lady. <laughs> yeah, not the time to say that, but <laughs> you look sexy as always, yeah? Does that compliment help you? <laughs> uh, and listen to that music. I think this is the first time we're hearing this music. I like this music. Yeah, I think this is probably Eleonora's team. As he performs oozing out of the darkness, she appears at a spot where no one had been standing a mere few seconds ago. It isn't midnight yet. Well, yeah. Of course not. First thing I want to ask is where's Ann? <laughs> but I don't think Yuma will ask that. Oh shit. With that, she suddenly draws out her huge sky from empty space. Just like that. She. If you don't mind, I'd like to talk before that. Well, I wouldn't beg for my life, but... It isn't about me. I want to talk about Tina. No, I'm just wondering why Tina, you know, went away from home. I'm talking about her feelings here. It might be true that she's a somewhat troublesome freeloader, but hearing another person talk ill of her naturally makes me defiant with all seriousness. I know nothing about your soul reaper circumstances, but Tina has a reason why she's running away from you, doesn't she? Or rather, from all soul reapers for that matter. <laughs> but do you know the reasons? That's what I want to know, you know. I beg you. Give Tina a little more time. Why? Why not? To begin with, why is it that you have to take her along? Then educate me! <laughs> I want to be involved in this. I suppose the proverb, turn a deaf ear, fits perfectly in this instance. Damn it! I show her my will to not you by taking up a stance with the golf club tightly grasped in both of my hands. Yeah, so a sky versus a golf club. She smiles with a sm spell of delight. You know, at first I was like just wondering, you, because this golf club used to belong to his father's, right? So he's going to spoil the golf club. <laughs> then probably his father is going to like be angry with him. Hey, why did you spoil my golf club? <laughs> uh, well, from the heavens anyway. <laughs> so, but. Um, you only can't stand me because I caught you a pervert, right? <laughs> if I caught you beautiful sex would you change your mind? <laughs> I see. So you're all eager to kill me. It would appear there is no longer any room for negotiations. In that case, yeah, I'm gonna sing my golf club at you. Still, I will not back down. I strongly fortify both my readiness to fight and my determination to defy her. Yeah, I'll show you the difference. I'll show you the power of love. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Is this? Eh? Hey? What? Her eyes just glowed and... What? Why? Why what? My body doesn't move an inch. Oh, yeah, well, that's the power of a soul ripper. It's as if the directives, my brain issues, are being rejected. Hey, what is this? My limbs are frozen, so solid. I can feel a chill that makes me shiver well up from the depths of my body. Paralysis? No, this is fear. What kind of providence is That sounds like, you know, the laws of nature. Yeah, so I'm trying to defy you means the laws of nature are broken and that's why... <laughs> uh, okay. Like a frog that is clad at by a snake, I stand stock still in response to the instinctive fear I experience. 
Even so, I won't give in! Unable to move even the slightest, I at the very least keep up my defiant attitude. Okay. What have I done to her to bear that strong a grudge against me? As I gaze at Eleonora raising her scarf overhead, that question suddenly crosses my mind. No! Can't save me, Aunt! Whoever you are! Whoa, I tightly close my eyes and await contact from the scarf. She swings down on me. Shit! No! Unable to either dodge or stop the blow, if I any means to oppose, I block the attack? Huh? What happened? Am I am I dead? <laughs> because suddenly the whole screen turned black. However, no matter how much time passes, neither pain nor anything else assaults me. Wh what? What's going? Huh? <laughs> Oh, is it An? 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 Is that you, An? As I slightly open my eyes, Eleonora is slowly drawing back the scythe that was meant to shred me apart. Her hands trembling, it looks as if she's struggling with someone invisible for control of the weapon. Yeah, it's, this is definitely An, right? Yeah. yeah, it's Eleonora taking over An's body at night. Yeah, I figured it was something. It would be something like that. Oh! Then, the large sky scatters into stardust and disappears somewhere. Yeah, but Ann doesn't want you to kill him. Wait, is she talking to someone? Uh, what, what do you mean you have no other choice? <laughs> As I dumbfoundedly gaze at the Soul Reaper in front of me, I also suddenly noticed that control over my body had returned at some point. Well, did she just say An? Did she? Oh yeah, that, that's right, An is my time right now. Wait a little. Too, too late. She Eleonora's body emits a pale yet strong light. Ooh, there we go. And secret revealed. Da 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 da. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, Anne. You made it. Yes, you took control over Eleonora. And wow, I think this is the first time we see Anne in her casual outfit. Mm, the with her slight cleavage slightly exposed there. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah. Huh? Senpai? As the light faded, instead of Eleonora, Jinpo Senpai was now in front of me. There we go, secret revealed. Uh, no. Thank goodness. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Um, what's the meaning of this? Anyway, yeah, it's Eleonora. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perplexed as I am, I can only master that crappy reply. Well, yeah, but it's because you stupid Yuma, you had to provoke her. <laughs> Call her pervert. <laughs> stupid guy. Actually, he's a, I think she's a nice girl, you know? I have no idea what's going on anymore. However, judging by the fact that Eleonora transformed into Jinpo Senpai, I suppose it become, it's become clear that Senpai and that Soul Reaper are one and the same. At least that's what seems plausible for now. Um, Senpai, why are you... Sure, we can save it for tomorrow. No, no worries. Yeah, you look sexy, but <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> if you're going to explain it to me tomorrow, then yeah. Oh, 
直どう説明すればいいのかも難しくて Yeah, you, do, you definitely have a lot of explaining to do Okay, got it とにかくエレのことは私に任せておいてちゃんと説得するからもうユウマくんには迷惑かけないよ Alright, sure Well, I personally don't really mind that, but um Oh, okay, thank you, Ann. Thank you. She says so with a somewhat troubled smile, then. Old is Tina listening in? Does Tina know? She calls out in the direction where there's nothing but empty space. So Tina knows. Tina knows after all, and she has a sky with her. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. She's also prepared. Tina, you've been here? Hmm, okay. Yeah, please, please, Tina, don't fight. I trust Ann, yeah? Ann and Eleonora, Eleonora are two different people, yeah? Her large sky in both trembling hands. It looks like she's just ma barely managing to hold her ground. Mm, okay. Senpai shrugs her shoulders in response to Tina's vigilant attitude. So you okay there, Yuma? Atashi ga iru to Tina chan ga obieru kara. Kyo wa kaeru ne. Okay. All right. We'll see each other tomorrow. Okay. Got it. Tina chan no koto. Yoroshiku ne. I definitely will. Parting with that, Senpai headed home while waving her hands lightly. Uh, don't worry, Tina, you can, you can make your scarf go away now. Tina, it should be alright now. Also, it would be bad if someone saw your scarf, so put it away. And your wings too. As I point that out, she hurriedly lets go of the scarf and makes it vanish. I really like to know how that works. You wouldn't want to know. It's it's you know soul reaper souls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I saw her wings flat flutter. <laughs> okay, but you should make your wings disappear too. <laughs> yeah, I don't have even a scratch. Don't worry. More importantly, I think I told you not to leave my room. Way to disobey my order. <laughs> with my mild glare causing her to get flustered, she tries to come up with an excuse. Oh, so you had a bad feeling, alright. So you got worried about me and came out? Hi. Tina nods. Man, if that had put you in danger in the process, you'd be like putting the horse before the cart. Hmm. This is an idiom, right? Putting the horse before the cut. Ah, always forgiven. But, thank you. I placed my hand on Tina's head. You were worried about me and tried to save me, right? Well, yeah, but you're worried about me, that, so that's what matters. That doesn't change the fact that you wanted to do your best for my sake. It's bad that you didn't do as I told you, but I want to thank you nonetheless. But I'm going to punish you later. <laughs> what? 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 Tickers? What am I doing? <laughs> this he oh, this heveling her hair has rubbed her head. Wait, wait. This heveling her hair has rubbed her head. What kind of what kind of what kind of word phrase is this? <laughs> this heveling her hair has rubbed her head. What? <laughs> okay. Anyway. I somehow managed to make her smile, if only a little. Okay. So, it's April 25th, Thursday, where we will learn the truth from Ann, I hope. The next day after school, and it's evening time. So, are we going to Ann's house after this? Probably, it would be more convenient to talk about that at Ann's house, rather than in school. I mean, it would be very weird if we suddenly talk about all this at school. <laughs> 
れじゃあ私は校内の見回りに行ってきます。お、パトロールランオーライ。うん、ミオちゃんは花壇の整備をお願いね。はい、行ってきます。Oh, wait until everyone leaves. Then, yeah, then it's just Mio and I, and we can talk about it together. Okay, see ya, both of you. They both leave the student council room. Tsukishima to patrol, Mio to maintain the flower bit. Where are the rest, though? Sate, Koeta kun to Konami chan mo, kai da shite shibaraku wa modotte konai shi. Oh, okay, so okay, both of them out to make purchases. Alright, so this is the perfect time to talk about what happened last night. Yeah, your true nature and all that. Yeah, we、we'll、definitely want to know. Yeah. In other words, we are alone now. Can we continue the conversation from yesterday? Since this isn't something I can bring up with the others present, I've impatiently waited for the right moment the entire time. Yeah, and some serious music now. A bit of the best in music. Wait, just a moment for what? For you to transform? <laughs> She says so as if to keep me on tender hooks. Then walks over to the door. Oh, you're going to lock it? Okay, that makes sense. We don't want others to like suddenly interrupt. Um, why did you lock the door? Yeah, that's one. And secondly, I have a vague, bad premonition. Yeah, she's going to transform to Eleonora, so let Eleonora explain it herself. Okay, but it's going to be quite awkward. Hey. Oh, what you're gonna like transform right on the spot? At the same time, she approaches me as she speaks these words. Oh, there we go. The those eyes, those red eyes. <laughs> yeah, fear made a shiver run down my spine. Yeah, those red eyes. See, following that, my body, including my limbs, is rendered frozen, unable to move even an inch. Senpai. The same thing Eleonora did to me yesterday. So wait, so Senpai, so oh, but I, I guess because An and Eleonora both share the same body, so An can also use Eleonora's powers, right? So. Okay, so just to make me experience your powers, okay? You say that as if it was nothing. What nice thing are you gonna do? She draws near me until she's basically right in front of my eyes. But what? Upon that, she stretched. She stretched her hand out towards my body, and the very next moment, she pushes me with mouth force. Huh? Whoa, senpai! What are you doing? Whoa, 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 what? Before I realize it, I'm really lying on the floor, face up. What are you trying to do, An? Oh, I'm not ready for this yet. <laughs> In short, she pushed me down. Oh, what are you doing? What do you intend to do? Oh, you see with that those look, that look on her eyes. Yeah, and then with her cloth slightly unbuttoned, one button unbuttoned. I think you can see a bit of the cleavage. And what are you trying to do, An? <laughs> Um. Okay. I'm unable to lift even a single finger. Completely left at her mercy, she leans on me from above. Do? Scary, isn't it? I'm not a human. Well, you're not human. I, I thought Eleonora is not human, but you, you, you kind of are, right? Or maybe you're half of a human. I don't know. Yeah, quite so. But more importantly, your boobs are pressing against you. You might why why you say that of a sudden boobs? Bearing against the fear that wells up from deep inside my heart, I persistently talk in a casual manner. Also, as to calm down those fear that fear inside you. That's why you say all that that stuff. Your boobs pressing against me. 
Yuma kun wa kawaii na. I guess Ann's teasing uh, personality is also. That, that also acts, her true nature is also why she has this teasing personality because, well, you know, demons tend to have a mischievous personality, yeah, and Ann is kind of the mischievous type, so, <laughs> yeah. As she says so, she uses a finger to tickle my chest and face. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, for the moon. <laughs> anyway, why are you moaning, Yuma? <laughs> I desperately hold back both the moonlight voice that's close to leaking out and the tears that dare to flow. Uh, uh, are you so... a soul reaper? You mean Ann? Eleonora definitely is, but Ann? I somehow managed to squeeze out some words with a somewhat shaky voice. <coughs> well, yeah, I guess, yeah. Hmm. Please answer me. Are you a soul reaper? Yeah, so she's a half soul reaper, half human. As in the half is Eleonora, then the other half is herself, Ann. Just half? Thank you. But I, I, I hope we can do this again. <laughs> Alright, she's back to her normal self. Her eyes that have been glowing red return to their normal color. color. <sighs> the moment I regain control over my body, the sudden sensation of a massive weight being lifted from my chest causes through me. Had my breathing stopped until just now? Well, if your breathing stopped until just now, you'll be dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you had to do it to make me experience it for myself, right? So, never mind that. More importantly, um, you're still clinging on to me. <laughs> As I finally managed to calm down, what starts to weigh on my mind? The most is the sensation of a soft boobies <laughs> that's squeezing against me. <laughs> Could you get off of me? What are you talking about, Yuma? Why are you telling her to get off of you? <laughs> Come on, you have a you have a pretty lady here, sexy lady here, you know, all, all over you, and you say get off of me. <laughs> so I attempt to clear this little problem of mine, but. Yeah, see, even Ann also wants you. So she's actually starting to fall in love with you, you know? You know, Yuma? She looks so sad now. You see, you disappoint her now. Senpai? For some reason, she's now the one who's displaying an expression of something akin to fear. Yeah, she seems scared. Um, is something the matter? Maybe she's scared of Eleonora, secretly? Ah, I see. But well, now that you've shared uh, your secret with me, you know, uh, we can bond better, right? Hey? Hmm. Does, does that happen to her before? Like maybe when she was younger, then she has approached other me other other boys. Then because she revealed her secret, then other boys got scared and then say you're gross or what? Maybe. Senpai. No, I'm not gonna abandon you, An. Wow, wow. I think this is the first time we see Ann being like really scared her genuine feelings. So I can sympathize. Ah, I see. That clears up the reason she's pressing her boobs against me. You don't have to worry about things like that. I'm already living under the same roof with Tina. A soul reaper. I don't mind living with you too. <laughs> So I don't have the least bit of an intention to avoid her simply because she turned out to be a soul reaper. Yuma. 
did that sink in? Mm, yeah, so don't worry, uh, I'm by your side. I, I've chosen your route for a reason. <laughs> well, partly to know the main story, but also for you, for your sake. Nevertheless, still just a bit anxious, she continued to motionlessly cling to me for a while. Ah no, it's fine. It's fine. Most likely having settled down somehow, she finally moves her body away from me and slowly stands up. It's fine, I don't mind. Alright. Oh, okay. Yeah, half human, half soul reaper. Half soul reaper. Can even humans and soul reapers have children together? Well, I'm sure they could. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't see Tina. <laughs> you know, Tina in her young, you know, girl self, Lord, yeah. But I wonder who's the Soul Reaper, right? Because since she's half human, half Soul Reaper, right? That means um, it's either the mother or father is a Soul Reaper. One is a Soul Reaper, the other one is a human, right? Their mother, either mother is the human or father is the Soul Reaper, or the other way around. So we don't know that yet. Maybe she'll reveal? Yeah, true. Interesting, so father so reaper, mother is human. Hmm, but your mom died died a long time ago? Hmm. I see. But how did they get married? <laughs> like huh? I choose not to pry too deeply into it. Judging from my own experience of having lost my parents, I know that that is what the person's concern appreciate the most. Oh, I see. But, well, your, so, your dad's still around, right? but he's a soul reaper, right? So, <laughs> yeah. An adult, eh? <laughs> of course, of course. I, I know that rule. It never asks a, a lady what her age is. I haven't asked anything yet. It's true that I got a bit, or rather, considerably curious about that, though. But I think, unless you're very close to her, you don't ask, you know, a lady her age. Yeah. Um. So that so reaper yesterday. What exactly is Eleonora? Your other personality, yeah. Basically, your, your, your soul reaper side, right? Yeah, because you said you're half human, half soul reaper. So, yeah. So, Eleonora is your other, is your soul reaper side of you. Other personality, yeah. The soul reaper side of you. Yep, basically, yep. It's sort of complicated, making my understanding of it rather vague. Well, it's not really that complicated. Ah, that explains why at night it's Eleonora in control instead of instead of uh, Ann. Yeah, but yeah, but thank goodness last night, you know, uh, Ann managed, yeah, managed to wake up quickly. Otherwise, yeah. So in short, Eleonora, who also lives inside of your body, was in control last night. Is that about right? So so, that's so that image. Ah, okay. In that case, can I consider her as she is now? More or less human? Yeah, she is now. <coughs> Sorry. That thought suddenly crossed my mind. <coughs> well, but. but Eleonora is your soul reaper side, right? So it's not like you can't 
you can do so with her work as a human. Hmm. Hearing her faint mutter, which partly seemed to have been monologue, I conclude that I probably shouldn't pry in regards to that either. <laughs> Don't worry, and I can definitely see that, you know. She was trying to kill me though. You stand by that claim nevertheless? You have to understand her, you know, Yuma. Mm. But the, but when I say I think, <laughs> she's not really certain. But kind, well, yeah, not really certain. Ultimately, it's just probably, huh? Okay. Even though she's a soul reaper. Yeah, that's basically the role of soul reapers, right? When, when humans are about to die, they take the souls. If she says so, if she says so, I guess it must be true. However, I can't bring myself to consider Eleonora a good person. She blatantly threatened me. There's no way to sugarcoat that. What? Wait, for Tina Chan's sake? What? For Tina's sake? Mm. Tina -chan wa ne, to to ne? Spending her time invisible to everyone else, so. So, so what? <laughs> eh? Together with you? Oh. Okay. Um, so to sum it up, Tina ran away from your place? Ah, let's face it. So, Hmm. So Okay. I so then I guess Eleonora chased Tina out so as to let Tina experience things for herself out in the world. I don't know. Unexpectedly so, the runaway girl's personal background came into light. Um, should I make her go back to her place then? Hmm. Hmm. That wording lets me infer that she seems to have a different opinion on that. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. You know, even though she's a freeloader and all that. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Sure, that's what I originally had in mind anyway, but... Yeah, that's why she said she wanted to be a love fairy, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that explains a lot. Yeah, that's why Tina ran away from home, right? I recall the reason Tina gave us for why she ran away that time she first came to us. I was told to work, she said. I see. So that's what it was about. If you just take it by word, she simply comes off as a spoiled child. But since in this instance, work means to fulfill her duty as a soul reaper, but she doesn't want that. So basically, she had a fight with Eleonora and ran off. Since I'm not able to assert that, either of them is in the wrong. I could only express it in such a plain way. まあ、今のところ仲直りできそうな要素がないって感じ。Well、I I don't mind that at all. Ah, Thank you. 
Sorry, ah, it's fine. You don't have to apologize. Fortunately, both Asaba Sensei and Konami enjoy having Tina around. Don't mind it. Ah, oh, I see. Really? If that's true, Eleonora must be unexpectedly. Uh, hmm? What? Is Eleonora contacting you? Hey? Okay, it's talking to Eleonora right now. Who is she talking to? Obviously, Eleonora. Come on now, Yuma. Hey, come on. Even I can figure out. What was that monologue about? It's not monologue. <laughs> okay. Is that what it means to have two personalities in one body? Ah, okay. Okay, so that's what it means to have two personalities in one body. Well, you had to sleep at some point, so I don't blame you. But yeah, I mean, you could have like tried to convince her, but it's not easy, so it's okay. No use crying over spilled milk, so forget about that. However, I wouldn't want to repeat of what happened. <laughs> <laughs> tsundere. Yeah, I kind of figured she's kind of a tsundere, yes. <laughs> Have you said that? She sticks her tongue out, but then. <laughs> yeah, <so> now. <laughs> yeah, Eleonora screaming in her head. Why are you call me a tsundere, huh? It seems she got tore off by Eleonora inside her mind. Um, back to Tina. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, I can understand. It seems she's aware of the fact that she comes off as a weirdo when she speaks to herself. She's acting as a self-proclaimed love fairy at the moment. Is it okay to just leave her be in that regard? Yeah, love fairy. <laughs> The fairy. Well, okay. Maybe someday she'll turn into a love fairy, I don't know. <laughs> Though? But isn't it understandable that she simply doesn't want to do so Reaper work? Oh, look at oh, look at Aunt's sad face. It's the first time I see her sad face like that. She looks so sad here. In response to my remark, she falls silent with a troubled expression. Yes, I know that, but still, is that so? Fairy them? Ah, uh, yep, yep. As she says so, she looked just a bit proud in my eyes. Ah, so that reminds me of that scene when, uh, when, you know, Yuma was about to die, then the Soul Reaper comes about, was about to claim his soul, but then he, she basically did the other part of the, the, her job, right? Angels. That's like the complete opposite. Well, I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of Eleonora as well. As long as she... <laughs> yeah, I mean, just don't call her Tsundere or Pervert. Yeah, that kind of, then it's okay. <laughs> I don't think a person who just paralyzed and pushed me down has the right to say that. 
死神でも天使でも舐められるわけにはいかないし、mm, Yeah Oh boy However Angels huh I recall Tina's small white wings Yeah Those are the wings of an angel too And Now that I think about it I was given life by a harbinger, harbinger of death You know what I've been saying before Is that I think this girl is actually I have a good feeling this girl is actually um, It could be that this girl is An Or It could be that this girl is actually the previous life of Tina I mean now that I think about it, it That could be I think the latter could be true because You see the stuff that The, the sky that um, this girl is wielding It has the like this kind of tree stuff You know the wood, wooden stuff The kind of material So and Tina also wields a sky with a With a That's made of wood as well wooden stuff So which kind of brings me to think that Tina might well be the reincarnation of this Soul Reaper right here Who sacrificed her life, prob probably sacrificed her life to you know resurrect Yuma I think so no, I could be right But from the, because at first I thought that this girl is probably Ahn But then again on second thought I don't, I think I probably I think she's probably not actually Ann. I don't think this girl is Ann. I think this girl is the previous life of Tina. So I could be wrong, but I I think I'm now sticking to this yeah letter thought yeah that this is the previous life of Tina rather than Ann. Yeah. I've experienced with my own body that there's a meaning to the Elias Angel. Let's see. I still have plenty of questions left to ask, but I haven't managed to sort them out in my head just yet. <laughs> okay. Okay, that helps. What do you want to drop by my place? What about Tina? She's going to, like, be on her guard again, you know. My place? Sure, I don't mind. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> okay. 